Well, hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. One thing that caught my eye is um, a product I've had sitting here, the Haru Haru Black Rice Facial Oil. I wanna update you guys on this. I got this in my Korean advent calendar and I uh, used it a couple of times. I like using facial oils, like if I've got chapped lips, I like to use a little facial oil to smooth down the rough stuff or if I have some flakiness from skin irritation, I find facial oils are nice to just smooth down the flaky stuff. They're not great moisturizers. This was pretty good. And the reason I'm drawing your attention to it is because it is good within six months of opening. And I opened this like in December. So I don't wanna use it anymore on my skin. It's important to uh, pay attention to those little jars, how many months after opening the product is good for. Oils, you know, they can degrade and become more irritating. I'm not gonna throw this away. I'll end up using it to get sticky labels off and things like that, but I'm not gonna use it on my skin anymore. Sunscreen is another one that you don't want to use past the expiration date. Most sunscreens are good within three years because after the expiration date, you run the risk that the ingredients are no longer protecting you and could potentially be irritating too. All that to say, make sure you use up your sunscreens. Man, this little drippy dauber, as I call it, that I got from the Dollar Tree, it's great for patting dry the little drips. Of course, I always end up with a drip on my shirt, but <laughs> this Timeless Serum, you know, it lasts a very long time for me. This is another one where I'm not sure how many months within opening this is good for. I need to double check, but I use it every day. And one thing about this I've noticed is it doesn't change color. Um, it doesn't lose its color, but it does separate, so you do want to shake it up. Now, vitamin C serums, they will start to oxidize with time, and they usually come with a, you know, Best Buy. Usually, for a lot of vitamin Cs, it's usually within three months, depending on the formula, sometimes longer. But if it starts to turn brownish, discolored earlier, it doesn't mean that the product isn't good and that you shouldn't use it, but there is a possibility that it's slightly more irritating. I personally find that to be the case for myself whenever I use vitamin C, I mean, you know, test out vitamin C serums. I don't like using them in my skincare routine. I don't find them to be effective. And a lot of times I end up getting kind of some irritation from them, especially as they start to oxidize, but um, just so, so you know, if it does start to turn that color, it doesn't mean that it's you know not any good anymore. Coming in with the Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. Ah, nothing like flipping the bed linens around to really zhuzh up your space. So for the longest time, I had my rebounder over there up against the wall with the legs taken off because as much as I love using my rebounder, honestly, it just takes up too much space. So I don't really use it that much. I got it around locked on downtime when the gym's closed before I got my treadmill and I really love it. If I had more space, I would use it. But I just pulled the bed out and moved the rebounder behind the headboard so you can't see it. You know, I have it for the future. Yeah, it just brightens things up a bit to rearrange the linens. This comforter is what I've been sleeping under and I love it because it's got these vents. It's It just really helps keep you from getting overheated. Plus, so what I like to do actually is put that on top of me and then I have one of these cooling blankets from Costco that I actually lay on top of and that keeps me really cool at night. Um, I need to run into the Croge. It's a back uh, and pick up a few things for the week. I should have run into five below, but I'm not in the mood for that. Oh man, how fun is this little unicorn squishy thing? <laughs> These are so fun. It's like hard to walk away from squeezing them. <laughs> this Kroger Sport sunscreen lotion is actually pretty good. I had had one of these a few years ago and I loved it. It does have fragrance, but it's, it's pretty good and it doesn't sting around the eyes. But I'm not seeing the glow, the glow screen. Now they have the oil spray. I haven't seen this compared to Supergroup's sunscreen oil. Does this have citrus oils in it? Yeah, tangerine peel and lemon peel oil. The glow screen dupe that they have, y'all know, I reviewed, I love. This looks good. It probably has fragrance in it though. Sheer Touch Chemical Sunscreen. 
mango and papaya fruit. It probably gives it an aroma, but maybe irritating. I didn't realize that they came out with the Invisible Daily as a body spray. The Invisible Daily Defense Face Serum, I love this. Uh, it's not water resistant. Their Ultra Sheer Face Serum though, do they have it here? Yeah, this one, fragrance free. I love this. Um, this is a great, this is like this one, only water resistant. Ceylon Silicone Strawberry Ice Molds. Well, and little pineapples too. I don't know, I always get tempted to buy these and then I am too, like I forget to make the ice. I also have these things to make the jumbo ice balls for cocktails. Those are kind of fun. Check out the 4th of July bling Kroger has. It is premium. I love these little cherries. Those are so cute. And the bomb pops. Those are fun. Stars and stripes. I could make those with that kit I had to have from Michael's. <laughs> Except it didn't come with any hoops, but I could just I'm gonna make a bracelet. Those are cute. Look what you can watch. You can watch Where the Heart Is on YouTube for free. I love this video, this movie. Um, but I don't know what this is about here. You know, YouTube has this thing where um, the creator, like, a YouTuber. This is a this is a movie that you can watch for free on YouTube. See YouTube movies and TV. But on the back end, when you upload a video, you can actually put chapters in certain videos so that people can go to certain locations. Uh, YouTube has automatically put chapters in this, but they labeled them just for me as sunscreen. <laughs> like this scene has nothing to do with sunscreen. I'm <laughs> sister. It's just YouTube, I don't know, just thinks that that's just my default in life, I guess. Anyway, this is a great movie, as a side note. And it's funny because I was just thinking the other day how some of these dresses that I have been wearing from Walmart, they kind of remind me of this movie. So, I don't know, I've been wearing them and yeah, maybe I'm in my Novali Nation era. <laughs> I'm here for it. So, I am going out of town and I need to pack my travel toiletry bag. I just replenished some of my travel sizes of things. And I got a new travel toiletry bag that I thought I would just pack up because like I said, I'm going to be kind of busy this week and I wanted to get it packed up. So I thought I would show you guys. Um, I thought this was really cool. You know, you can hang it off and it stores quite a bit. And I like the different compartments. So I'll show you guys what I'm bringing. It's got a little handle. There's also a front pouch there. Alrighty. So I think it makes sense to put my contact lenses in this pouch. This side is like, let's see if you can see it. This flap is separated into two, so I think contacts will go there. I don't necessarily need this many contacts, but perfect. Okay. All right. Let's see here. On this side, we have, looks like we have quite a bit of room in here. Okay. I got this collapsing toothbrush at Walgreens along with toothpaste and dental floss. And I also have some of these interdental brushes that I have to have. <laughs> I love these. They're so convenient. All right, oral hygiene pouch done. I hate using the shampoo and conditioner in hotels. Um, and I've been wanting to try this Luzetta brand of shampoo that I keep seeing on Amazon. So I got the travel uh, size to try it out of their uh, shampoo and conditioner, two little ones there. So I'll definitely give those a whirl. I'm going to take the Dollar Tree cleansing oil balm. That's not really a cleansing oil balm, but I'm gonna take it for removing 
mascara and sunscreen. I'm also gonna take a travel size of the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. And I bought <clears throat> a travel size of the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. Sunscreen, I'm taking the Isentree Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. Then I have a little travel antiperspirant in the Powder Fresh scent. I always travel with this Neutrogena Hydrating Lip Sleep Mask. This is one of my favorites from them and I like to take it with me for dry chap lips. So we'll squeeze that on in there. Then I'm also gonna take the Up and Up Nighttime Facial Moisturizing Lotion for my face. All right, that should do it for skincare. Oh, wait, and also hair care. I'm gonna take the Be Pure Moisturizing Hair Serum. I think I can squeeze in it over here. There's plenty of room. Neutrogena room, flip around, there we go. Yeah, there's a lot of room in this thing. Okay, now on this side, I'm gonna do makeup, which I'm not gonna take very much, so. I bought this to keep all my brushes together. Let's see, I got it on Amazon. Let's see what it looks like. It's like a nice silicone. Ooh. Ooh, that's nice. And it matches the interior. So I have all of these brushes that I'm taking. They should all fit in here nicely. Look at that. Oh, I love that. All right. I'm gonna take, this is that NYX eyeshadow palette. I've been using this for the past week and a half or so. This is the translucent powder I use from NARS. And I love this little blush, cream blush stick thing. So I'll be taking that. I love using this all over the face as a all over face sunscreen. This is the Color Science Face Shield Flex, but I also like using it just as like a BB cream. It pro provides pretty good cosmetic coverage, so I like to use that. I don't use like foundation or anything. Then the Maybelline Colossal Mascara. I'm gonna go ahead and pack this, um, and then I'm going to start a new mascara uh, for the week, because this is, this is close to being retired. <laughs> I've got a eyebrow pencil. This is the Etude House Drawing Eyebrow. This is a really good brow pencil, in my opinion. And I also have the Hydro Boost Hydrating Lip Shine. Gotta have a lip color. And there's one more lip care product that I wanna take. I'm also gonna take the Etude House Fixing Tint. These are really good. They stay on really well. This is the shade uh, Midnight Mauve. So I'm gonna pack that in there and have two colors and then in go the brushes. Ooh, how cool. This is fun. Yeah, this, there's plenty of room in here um, for, you know, larger trips and things, but this is basically everything I'm gonna need this time. Look how sleek that is. You could fit a lot in here if you needed to. And so right before I get ready to leave, I'll put my tretinoin in here too. Obviously it'll fit. Perfect. Well, hey guys, I just got out of the shower. Some of you were asking me about this Tree Hut shave oil. I love this stuff. It was in my favorites. Um, I got it at Kroger. It's, it actually is lasting a good long while. It feels almost like a moisturizer going on. The smell is nice, but quite strong. It doesn't linger. It's just a very nice lubricating, product to cut down on shave irritation. We were talking about this, I think, last weekend about, you know, how much I love Vaseline. It's a skincare staple for me and like one, um, or, you know, Petrolot or whatever you want to call it, brand name Vaseline. This is the up and up version. Um, but that, you know, I was pointing out Vaseline can be really helpful to cut down on the spread of warts. And speaking of shaving, you know, one thing people don't realize is that if you shave over a ward, that's one way to introduce it into the neighboring skin. So you'll see this a lot, actually in women, like on their shins, you'll see an eruption of like little flat bumps, these are warts, little flat warts all up the shins from dragging the razor up. Likewise, men can get warts in their beard. Um, they have like a flat wart and then they shave, same thing. So if you have a wart, don't shave over it. 
um, and try and protect the surrounding skin with a little petrol bottom. You know, shaving, not only does it cause ingrown hairs for some people, not everyone, and of course that's related to a lot, you know, the location especially and the direction of hairs. So recently I did a video for you guys on how to get rid of ingrown hairs, razor bumps, shave bumps, ingrowns, whatever you want to call them. But shaving, another thing that people run into with shaving is of course you can get irritation uh, from shaving. But the other thing that can happen as a result of shaving, and I, the, the mechanism is not clearly elucidated at all. It's just the history is always there. And that is women either, and men, but a lot of times it's in women, will say, hey, you know, I got a mosquito bite or a bug bite on my lower leg. It's itchy, maybe I scratched it a couple times, I shaved over it, and then all of a sudden I got this bump. It's called a dermatofibroma. And the thing about a dermatofibroma is they are actually a skin bump that is growing deep down in the skin. So on the surface, it just looks like this bump, and you'll come to the dermatologist saying, what is this? Can you get rid of it? But the problem with it is, because it, it starts deep down in the skin, and how it occurs, we don't know. It's always, often this history, oh, I got a bug bite there, or I nicked myself shaving, or I nicked over a bug bite, and you know, next thing I know, I have this bump on my leg where that happened, dermatofibroma. And the problem with them is, because they're, they're so deep, in order to get rid of them, the, we have to go in and actually cut them out and make a big cut the problem, especially, is you know that's going to leave a pretty substantial scar. They're going to have to you know bring back together and, and the like. But when you're talking about the lower legs, uh, in, in anybody, but the lower legs are very slow to heal. They just don't heal well. The blood supply down there is is such where it's just not great. Overlay that on if you have any underlying medical problem with your. Um, uh, cardiovascular system, like something called peripheral ar artery disease, um, diabetes, forget about it. Definitely a setup for poor healing and infection. So that's another thing where I'm not trying to scare you away from shaving your legs. Like, don't feel like, oh my god, if I shave my legs, then I'm going to get this dermatofibroma thing and I'm going to be stuck with it. Or <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, but it's another thing related to shaving uh, that you know seems to be tied or associated with. But remember, association does not prove causation. For all we know, it's just people notice it more because they shave their legs and they're down there, you know, looking around and, and the like. I just feel like there are certain lessons in life that need to be emphasized to people over and over and over again. And it's not like, it's not like we don't know this, but we fall for it every time. I fall for it every time too. It's like association does not equal causation. And you can say it over and over again and you know feel like really you know maybe even a little bit on your high horse saying it over and over again but truthfully we all kind of fall for for association and, and assuming ca causality because I, you know i think it's i think it's just human nature and you know we don't want to we don't want to run with the wrong crowd so to speak of, a, of things that you know could be causative or contributory so but i'm pointing it out because a lot of times you'll read these super inflammatory headlines that you know attempt to get clicks and the like that are you know going off of association when there's no causation and you know i can make a really scary headline saying that you know um eating ice cream is associated with drowning uh you might think oh my god i'm not gonna ever eat ice cream again but truthfully you know people tend to eat more ice cream when they're on vacation and participating in water sports doesn't mean that ice cream causes drowning. You, you get what I'm saying? Oh man, y'all, what a what a weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm gonna wrap it up here. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.